Go check it out, ladylickadventures.com. That is a homie. Y'all down to Destin Holler at us. We're gonna take these and uh, have some tacos. Big time tasty, baby. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, homie. Let's go. We're using some oysters. We scraped off the filings. Let's go. The sheep heads sometimes they get real picky. Let's go. Everything's you know, gonna be alright. Even when you get whooped in fishing. Let's go. Yo, what up, what up? I know I'm looking a little hidden. Uh, it's a morning and it's cold, but yo, we are about to go do some sheep's head fishing with my homegirl, Gabrielle. It's that time of year. Uh, let me lock my door, let me lock my door. My door lock, I ain't trying to have no thievery or time foolishness around this place. But yo, we're gonna hit the Destin Bridge and see if we can get on some sheep's head. Uh, anything we catch and I think this might be one of my first catch and cook because I do love to eat sheep's head They're a great fish to catch and eat um, And if you guys don't know I'm Lionel James. This is Lion's Tale Adventures. Yo, if you guys could uh, Consider hitting that like button and that subscribe button on this channel We do fishing of all kind of stuff travel anything and everything that you catch a fish So you guys we're about to hit the We're about to meet up with my homegirl Gabrielle. We're at the ramp. We're gonna go grab some oysters She probably picked up some bait first too. Fiddle of crabs, live shrimps, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can have a day under the Destin Bridge. You dig? Let's go. I'm like, I looked at the radar, I'm like, yeah, I can beat it. This is flat. Yeah, it's supposed to be blowing like, well, yesterday it said 20. Right, I saw it today. 20, now it's just like 15. What you got there? Oh, lunch. I brought my lunch too. You brought a lunch? I brought a lunch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out of lunch. I was looking at it like, oh, oh that'd be pretty cool. So listen, the weatherman is never right. That's all we need. So I got no, my we homie. We're here. We're going to go grab some oysters. Uh, probably grab some oysters off the Shalimar Bridge. Not Shalimar. Uh, what bridge? Brooks Bridge. We're telling them our spots. <laughs> <laughs> Secret. And then, uh, you yeah, know, see if we can get one. That's all we need today. Those things, are those like water roaches? I don't know the name of them. Nasty, yeah. They're ugly, right? I don't know, they're like cockroaches. Yeah. You bunch of cockroaches. Two-man team. Damn, damn, that current is going. Oh crap. Yeah, <laughs> that current is moving, yo. Well, we got some oysters. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, snap. Oh. All right, folks. Let's go see if we can catch a fish a after a, uh, what is that called? Shake weight that I was doing? <laughs> yes. Shake weight. <laughs> So after getting the oysters off the bridge, we stopped by the Gulf. We had to pick up Mr. Blair. Now, Mr. Blair is a writer for Florida Sportsman Magazine. The reason why he was on the boat with us today, he was doing a piece for Captain Gabrielle, and that piece is gonna be in Florida Sportsman here in a couple weeks, so I'll make sure I let you guys know about that. I was so invested in the conversation, I'm kinda glad I didn't turn on the camera because I wouldn't have been paying as much attention. But we finished our conversation, and we got to the bridge, and we proceeded to do what we do. That's fish, you did. kind of see which way the oysters are flowing start to get some bait going kind of just that's a good sign no I'm just talking to the camera <laughs> I was talking about the, the, the water flow and how the baits is sitting right there so that's good there's not much but that'll bring all the fish to the bar so notice right here there is absolutely 
zero water flow, no current moving. My homie wanted to come out and fish the incoming tide, which is about to switch. And as we're fishing, it was about maybe 20 minutes before the tide changed. But soon as the tide went from slack to incoming, that's when the fish went crazy. Got him, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, my man, let's go. Jailbreak. Let's go. Oh, you got a spade fish. <laughs> All right. Nice spade fish. All right. Nice work. Did he get him? He got him. Look at, yeah, he did. He's got that whole thing in his mouth. There he is. Got him. Go. Look, there you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We on one. Let's go. Let's go again. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on, yo. with it. Sheep head, they want a moving tide, so the worst time to fish for them is slag tide. They're not too picky on incoming or outgoing, um, but the last couple weeks I've been fishing them, it's always been an outgoing tide and we just haven't got a great bite, so I really wanted to fish the incoming tide today. And we got out here, it was slack. About 45 minutes later, it finally started to push. And as soon as it started to push, we started getting oh, those bites. Let's go. All right, get your ass out of here, boy. Let's go, homie. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. Come on, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Come on, man. On the oyster. Some oysters. We scraped off the pilings. These sheep heads sometimes they get real picky. They don't want shrimp. They don't want crabs. They just want oysters. And uh, using a thin, thin wire hook. You're gonna bend some. You're gonna crunch some. You're gonna straighten some out. But you'll get them between those teeth or catch the side of their lips. Get him to the boat. Let's go. Clark, homie got one. Oh, it's a nice sheephead, yo. Awesome. We're out here. Sheephead fishing at Destin. Let's get that one on ice. Come on, you see it. It's too easy, y'all. It's too All I needed was easy. One oyster. Hey, there's some decent ones over here. That's what I got. We got one, folks. We got one, folks. Oh, this is a black drum. This is a black drum for sure. Is it Yeah, go on the other side, Gabby. Yeah, we got one, folks. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. I just don't want her to run into that. Don't go under there. That's, I oh, don't go, ah, she cut me off. She broke me off. That was probably a, a big black drum on the oyster. But that's what happens, you know, with those things like they gotta run out. But, you know, turn of the tide, the fish are biting. Let's go get another one, guys. Let's go get another one.
Yo, I don't want this drone. I want a sheep. Stay back. I got you, homie. Can't do nothing about it in that pylon. Oh man, that was either another big black drum or a redfish. It was kind of acting redfish-ish, but what can you do? They get into that pylon, it is what it is. But nonetheless, we're having a ball, having a blast. Yo, remember this content you did. Yo, hit that subscribe and like button. All right, let's get rigged up. I think I still got my weight. Let's go get another one. What a day, guys. Let's go. Jesus, guys, we're hooked on again. Don't go that way. We got a fish, guys. They keep breaking my ass off, yo. What the? Oh. I don't know. I keep getting broke off, yo. I don't know what to say. I think it's a drum of some sort i think it's a redfish to be honest with you i can't stop him but ah we'll get tied up we'll do it again on the oysters guys oysters it's messy but it works yo and if you made it this far i appreciate it uh definitely hit that like and subscribe button for me thank you 100k let's go you like it baby let's go where are you going he's a nice one he's going the wrong way I'll show you lionel yes get him that's a nice that's sheephead. Nice. As I loosen my drag. Woo Look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. That one's bigger than the last one, I'm going to say. The net's right behind you. Get the shot, baby. Get the shot. I got you. Seven, eight pounds? Yeah, seven, eight. Ooh, let's go. Dinner chunks, baby. That's a slap right there. Yeah, he's bigger. I thought he was close to the same size as the other one. He's bigger. That is a monster, homie. It's all right, too bad. <laughs> oh, that's look, that's a redfish. Redfish all day long. You I can't with this little pole. Oh, no. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh guys, we got something good. Are you gonna stop them or are you gonna break them? <laughs> <laughs> true. True. Which one is it gonna be? Yeah, that's that's a redfish. Let's go guys, we are hooked up. My homie said it best. I'm either gonna stop them or break them. One of the two. Uh, come on, girl. Like it's Stay out there. I can. Let's go. It is looking. Look at that bend, folks. Come on, man. I'm okay with that. Stay. That's redfish all day. Ah, the peanut gallery is back there. You're here. Yeah, don't drinks me. I need him to stay right out there. Guys, we got a good one. He's just taking that drag. I'm gonna let him chill. It's a big fish, guys. We're gonna chill. Migos. This is number four. Oh man, don't stop. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. To the other side, yo. Damn it. It is what it is. What you need to do for curls? I think, I think it's a curl. Is that curl? Is that curl? I know. Yo. Oh, we're going to get to the stage where he might just be lacking cardio. Oh man. They're on me right now, yo. That is number four broken off, yo. Wow. That's gotta be a big red fish or a big black drum. But uh, 
I don't want no burpees. Yeah, I don't yeah, want no burpees. I don't want to hurt. <laughs> that is number four, guys, yo. Nonetheless, having a day. Oh, man, let me get retired. Yo, while I'm doing that, y'all grab, uh, grab a shot of whiskey for me. Hit that like and subscribe button. You dig? Let's go. Just making this Carolina rig. Yeah. And then we're using 20 pound tests. All right, let's go. Oh my God. We got one, yo. He has got another one, folks. All right. Let's go, folks. Let's go, sheeps. That's off the that was off the shrimp. It is a day of going to school. Some will call it Lady Luck. <laughs> oh, there he is. Let's go. Here he comes. Here he comes. The homies got him. Oh, he's got him. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Nice work. Go into that net. Go into that net. Oh, go into that net. Go into the net. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I can do that all day. Come on. Look at that, folks. Look at those teeth. Look at where that hook is at. Folks, put it in the cooler. Let's go, okay, guys. That is gonna be the day <laughs> I have gotten taken to church, school, detention, all that stuff. Yo, Lady Luck killed it with the uh, killed it with the uh, what's the, what are we fishing for? Sheepies. Sheep's head, yo. Yo, check it out, ladyluckadventures.com. That is the homie. If y'all are down in Destin, holler at us. We're gonna take these and uh, have some tacos. When it's tasty, baby. Yo, stay solid to yourself. They 100 in your heart, and I promise you, even everything's <laughs> gonna be alright. Even when you get whooped in fishing. Let's go. That for them. Dinner for everybody. So check it out. As I was recording this, I thought I had sound, and I put it on the wrong setting. So there is zero audio. I made a dumb mistake, but it happens anyways, right? So I've already cleaned this fish. I've got it ready to cook. If you need to learn how to cook, I'm not, I'm sorry. If you need to learn how to clean sheep's head, I've already made a video. I will drop that link right in the comments. It's actually a pretty dope video, very, very detailed. But anyways, so first things first, we got the Caribbean jerk seasoning. This stuff is fantastic. Next we have the hot, hot, Pico. Now, I don't know why I bought that, knowing I don't really like hot food, but that doesn't really make sense because I got Caribbean jerk seasoning. Next after that, yo, we got some low-carb, gluten-free burritos. These things are actually pretty good. Yo, toss that aside, guess what's next? We need some olive oil instead of like regular old fattening oil. All right, great value. Y'all see that? I'd be saving money. Next up, cheese, but it's plant-based, yo. Plant-based cheese, great value. Walmart, save a dollar, save your heart, save your lungs, all that stuff, right? Great value brand, let's go. So we're gonna throw this Caribbean jerk seasoning on there. Uh, this stuff is really good, look at that. You can smell it through the lens, can't you? Shake it up. We're just gonna throw that on top of there. Nothing really fancy, no eggs needed, no like flour. Just throw it right over the top, yo. Season it up real good. Put it on there accordingly. You might, depending on how like spicy you want it to be. This stuff is actually pretty spicy.
or, or throw some of that plant-based cheese. This stuff is actually really good. It's a good substitute. If you have a problem with dairy, you're gonna love that cheese, bro. Now we gotta throw the greens on there. It got so much sauce on them, and I mean seasoning by that. Yo, arugula, I'm fancy Kevin Hart, just call me that. Next, yo, we gotta throw this hot pico on it. I don't know why I bought that. Actually, I do know why I bought it, because I was in a rush, because I was hungry to get home after the gym. Yo, throw just a little bit of that. Grab that pepper, because that's too hot. So, now to the main course. Let's take the protein, throw that on the cardboard. Actually, I'm, I need to stop saying that because these gluten-free uh, burritos are actually really, really good. Let's take an extra piece of fish. This stuff looks really good. Yo, wrap that stuff up, throw it on the plate, and let's grub. Here it is, guys. Let's go ahead and top this off real quick. Real quick, super fancy. Oh man, this was a gift. Caribbean jerk sheep's head. Some spinach, some pico, you know, we're gonna see how it is and get up out of here. Man. This is really, really good. Yo, I think this recipe or this seasoning is gonna be good on any fish. I actually enjoy doing this. This is one of my first or second Catching cooks, but yo, total I think let's just call gro call the groceries. Um, the cheese was maybe three dollars. The pico was let's call it three dollars, and the what you call it the uh, you know what I'm saying the tortillas were three dollars, so that's nine dollars. Have a meal for two or three days, probably just two because this fish is really good. So not too bad, it's somewhat healthy. I think the, the most unhealthy thing is probably the olive oil. However, outside of that, everything is pretty, pretty healthy. And I don't wanna say like, it's healthy, but it's not super healthy, but it is an alternative, alternative option to like oils and stuff like that. Or, and the fish, believe it or not, is gonna make that tortilla taste amazing. The spinach is gonna taste amazing. So, yo, if you guys get out there, catch some fish, whether it be sheep's head or whatever, you know, try the Caribbean jerk seasoning at Walmart. It is fantastic. So I'm gonna get to my food. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, yo, remember, if you've gotten this far, please hit that like and subscribe button. That is the only way my channel will grow. I'm trying to get to 100K this year, you dig? We're trying to get to 100K this year, you dig? So with that said, I appreciate y'all. Stay solid to yourself, stay 100 in your heart, and I promise you, everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> all right, let's eat, yo. <laughs> Man, this is so good. Top five movies of all time. Hands down, life? Come on, man. Did you know that movie before I said it? If you knew that movie before I said it, yo, salute to you. But this is top five comedies, movies of all time. And who can forget Bernie Mac, yo? God rest his soul, RIP. But man, Bernie Mac, Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, come on, man. Jingling, jingling, jingling. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna eat your cornbread? <laughs> you gonna eat your fish tacos? Damn right. <laughs>